తెలంగాణ పోటీ పరీక్షల్లో ప్రభంజనం సృష్టిస్తూ స్టేట్ నెంబర్ వన్ గా రాణిస్తున్న ఎస్ఎండ్ఎస్ పబ్లికేషన్ తెలంగాణ గురుకుల హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసులను స్టేట్ నెంబర్ వన్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ అందిస్తున్న కోర్సులు గురుకుల తెలుగు కంటెంట్ అండ్ మెథడ్స్ గురుకుల మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ కంటెంట్ అండ్ మెథడ్స్ గురుకుల ఇంగ్లీష్ కంటెంట్ అండ్ మెథడ్స్ గురుకుల సోషల్ స్టడీస్ కంటెంట్ అండ్ మెథడ్స్ గురుకుల ఫిజికల్ సైన్స్ కంటెంట్ అండ్ మెథడ్స్ గురుకుల బయోలాజికల్ సైన్స్ కంటెంట్ అండ్ మెథడ్స్ పేపర్ వన్ జనరల్ స్టడీస్ పేపర్ టూ పెడగాజీ పేపర్ త్రీ కంటెంట్ తో హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ సిలబస్ ను పూర్తి చేసి ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసులను అందిస్తున్న ఏకైక సంస్థ మీ ఉద్యోగ సాధనలో మీకు తోడుగా మీ ఎస్ఎండ్ఎస్ పబ్లికేషన్ ఆన్లైన్ క్లాసుల కొరకు ఎస్ పబ్లికేషన్ యాప్ ని డౌన్లోడ్ చేసుకోండి మరిన్ని వివరాలకు సంప్రదించండి ఎయిట్ జీరో సెవెన్ జీరో ట్రిపుల్ ఫైవ్ ట్రిపుల్ సెవెన్ అండ్ నైన్ జీరో త్రీ టూ జీరో సిక్స్ ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ డబల్ టూ మొఘల్ ఎంపైర్ ఇన్ గురుకుల వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ ఈస్ మొఘల్ ఎంపైర్ ఓకే మొఘల్ ఎంపైర్ దిస్ ఎంపైర్ స్టార్ట్ ఇన్ ద ఎర్లీ మిడివల్ ఓకే అండ్ కంటిన్యూడ్ అప్ అప్ టు ఎండింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద మిడివల్ పీరియడ్ రైట్ మొఘల్ ఎంపైర్ ఓకే ఫౌండర్ ఈజ్ బాబర్ బాబర్ హీ బిలాంగ్స్ టు సెంట్రల్ ఏషియా రైట్ బాబర్ ఫ్రమ్ మదర్ సైడ్ హీ బిలాంగ్ టు చెంగిస్ ఖాన్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఫ్రమ్ ఫాదర్ సైడ్ హీ బిలాంగ్ టు తైమూర్ ఫ్యామిలీ ఓకే దే రూల్డ్ ఉజ్బెకిస్తాన్ అండ్ మంగోలియా రీజియన్స్ తైమూర్ గ్రేట్ గ్రాండ్సన్ ఈజ్ బాబర్ తైమూర్స్ గ్రేట్ గ్రాండ్సన్ ఈజ్ బాబర్ తైమూర్ డివైడెడ్ ఈజ్ ఎంపైర్ అమాంగ్ ఏజ్ సక్సెసర్స్ తైమూర్ గేవ్ ఫర్గనా ఫర్గనా కాబూల్ samarkand and here to is his successors babar belong to fargana now it's part of uzbekistan now this part of uzbekistan babar father umar sheikh mirza was uh, passed away so at the age of 12 only babar became the king babar became the king and uh, babar means tiger babar means tiger from father side he belong to taimur family from mother side he belong to chengiz khan family right uh, he became king in 1494 and fargana his ambition is he wants to rule his grandfather's territory that is samarkand so he tried to capture samarkand he attacked and samarkand but he lost fargana when he wants to attack on fargana he attacked on fargana he lost uh, samarkand and fargana also in this conditions in 1504 he captured kabul he captured kabul and he completely lost fargana he completely lost uh, samarkand he tried a lot to get back the fargana and uh, samarkand kabul in 1504 babar captured kabul and remember Kabul is a hilly area and there is no fertile lands there is no proper rivers and so baba unable to get proper income he learn about india baba was a excellent scholar was a excellent uh, uh, autobiographer he is having good knowledge about education and uh, he studied about india so he wants to capture india india had lot of wealth he studied in different books so to remove his poverty to come out from poverty babar try to invade on india babar babar actually name is zahiruddin mohammad babar zahiruddin mohammad babar when he became the king he used a title called babar babar means tiger babar means tiger moguls did not give importance to caliphs moguls did not give importance to caliphs khalifa means religious and political head of islam after death of muhammad prophet khalifa became head of religion and politics Delhi sultans gave importance to khalifa but moguls did not uh, give importance to khalifa and they did not send any gifts okay every mogal ruler used mahmud in their names 
Babar also used a Muhammad name that is Jehiruddin Muhammad. When he became the king, he used a title called Babar. Right? In 1526, Babar got invitations. Babar got invitations from India. Right? And we need to remember Babar was an excellent author. He wrote his own autobiography that is Tujuk E. Babari, Tujuk E. Babari, right? In this book, he discuss about uh, different conditions. He discuss about Fargana, discuss about uh, Samarkand, he discuss about uh, even India. And in Indian information, he mentioned that he got two invitations from India. One is uh, one is from uh, one is from uh, Rana Sangha, Rana Sangha of Mewad. Rana Sangha of Mewad and he got second invitation from Daulat Khan Lodi. Daulat Khan Lodi. Daulat Khan Lodi was the uncle of Ibrahim Lodi. Uncle of Ibrahim Lodi. When Daulat Khan Lodi sent invitation to Baba, immediately Baba came to India in uh, first battle of Panipat. In the first battle of Panipat, in first battle of Panipat, 1526, April 21st, April 21st, Babar came to Panipat, and here we need to remember that army strength. Babar had just 12,000, and Ibrahim Lodi. Ibrahim Lodi had one lakh army. One lakh army. Ibrahim Lodi. Ibrahim Lodi had one lakh army and eight thousand elephants. Eight thousand elephants. Right. In this battle, Baba for the first time used cannons. For the first time used cannons. Remember, in Indian history, during Vijayanagara, Vijayanagara and uh, here we need to remember uh, during uh, Sangama rule, Sangamas continuously fought with the Bahamanis. So, Sangamas were the first kings to uh, Sangama during Sangama period uh, in Battle of Mudgallu, 1356. In Battle of Mudgallu, for the first time. Cannons used in India. In India, first time cannons used in Battle of Mudgallu. And this information related to Babar. Babar's life, in Babar's life, first time, first time cannons used in first Battle of Panipat only. Right? We need to remember this point. Babar used cannons in First Battle of Panipat, 1526. Right in India, India India Motani Modadi India Battle of Mudgal and Gurd Betkali. Babar used Rumi war method. Babar used Rumi war method. Tulmuga war method. Tulmuga war method. These two war methods used in uh, first battle of Panipat but Ibrahim Lodi had uh, no army uh, sorry Ibrahim Lodi had no war plans Ibrahim Lodi had no war plans blindly he went to war okay within half day Babar destroy the army of Ibrahim Lodi Ibrahim Lodi died in the battle Ibrahim Lodi and the Gwalior king Ibrahim Lodi, the king of uh, Delhi Sultanate and uh, Lodi and uh, Raja Vikramajit, Raja Vikramajit of Gwalior died in the, died in the first battle of Panipat. First battle of Panipat was the stepping stone of Mughal Empire in India. In 1526, Baba destroyed uh, Baba destroyed uh, Ibrahim Lodi and captured the Delhi. Right after uh, war with Ibrahim Lodi, he attacked on uh, 
राणा संगा राणा संगा राणा संगा वॉज ए किंग ऑफ मेवाड रीजन मेवाड रीजन ओके राणा संगा एक्चुअली सेंट ए इन्विटेशन टू बाबर बट ही डिड नॉट सपोर्टेड बाबर इन फर्स्ट बैटल ऑफ पैन बट दैट्स वाई बाबर स्टार्ट ए वॉर अगेंस्ट राणा संगा एंड राणा संगा वॉज रैन अवे and uh, this battle is was this battle was called as battle of kanwa battle of kanwa right uh, and uh, chenderi chenderi king of chenderi is medini roy medini roy and uh, hasan khan mewati hasan khan mewati mamma shalodi Muhammad Shah Lodi these uh, leaders and uh, rulers supported Rana Sangha in battle of Kanwa but uh, Rana Sangha was uh, defeated by the Babur then Rana Sangha ran away after that uh, Babur invaded Chenderi defeated uh, Medini Roy defeated Medini Roy right uh, Medini Roy also lost the battle okay this region also captured by the babur and finally in the battle of gogra babur defeated mamma shalodi finally babur was uh, babur defeated mamma shalodi and captured the bihar region this war was called as battle of gogra in battle of gogra in battle of gogra babur defeated mamma shalodi killed mamma shalodi and captured delhi and captured the bihar okay in 1530 his soldiers created lot of pressure on babur because they came to india around 6 years ago so they created tremendous pressure so babur retreated to his country is a is kingdom from uh, bihar near lahore he was passed away in 1530 and his uh, tomb was constructed in the his tomb was constructed in the kabul and uh, after death of uh, huma after death of baba humayun became the king and he ruled uh, from 1532 to 15 uh, 1540 and uh, 1555 to 1556 this is the exact period of humayun from in 1530 he became the king and uh, he ruled up to 1540 and uh, again he became king in uh, 1555 and ruled up to 1556 okay between this uh, 15 years of period was uh, he lost the empire in 1540 he lost the empire he lost the empire he ran away from india right he was not a king so we should not consider we should not consider uh, the uh, period of uh, 15 years as a, that we should not consider that 15 years as is administration period right okay humayun his original name is nasiruddin mahammad nasiruddin mahammad humayun right humayun means luckiest person but most unlucky person most unlucky person humayun humayun did not uh, concentrate on administration he always uh, neglect the administration he always neglect the army and based on astrology he established the army cantonments okay appointments of jobs etc etc he gave more importance to astrology okay manaki chigala raledam ante jyotisham antam atwanti jyotishaniki ekku pradhanta ichadu and one more thing humayun completely gave importance to liquor and opium he wasted lot of time while consuming the opium and etc and his enemy is himself only he always uh, gave importance to luxury amusement okay neglected the administration right humayun's enemy is humayun only right uh, humayun defeated bahadur shah bahadur shah Humayun defeated Bahadur Shah and captured Gujarat. In Gujarat, he appointed his brother Askari as a king, 
as a governor but people of gujarat revolted against askari askari was ran away immediately bahadur shah recovered gujarat appudu humayun em cheyali malli gujarat pai daadi chesi recover cheskovali kani cheskoledu jeevitham lo okka sari kuda velaledu and uh, in bihar sher khan became powerful humayun attacked on chunar and defeated sher khan humayun attacked on chunar and defeated sher khan chunar was a one of the strongest area in the bihar that area was controlled by the sher khan okay after this battle sher khan pretended that he accepted sovereignty of humayun so humayun did not punish the sher khan and uh, started giving importance to entertainment so sher khan recovered very quickly sher khan developed his army very quickly in 1539 he defeated humayun at chausa sher khan defeated humayun at chausa humayun lost the battle to the sher khan then uh, sher then uh, humayun ran away to agra with the help of a water carrier in 1540 once again humayun wants to defeat uh, sher khan and attack on uh, sher khan that is battle of bilgrami battle of bilgrami okay we have another name of this war that is battle of kanoj battle of kanoj or battle of bilgrami both are correct right both are correct near kanoj at bilgrami near kanoj at bilgrami sher khan completely defeated humayun sher khan completely defeated humayun humayun ran away from india remember sher khan was the afghan leader sher khan defeated humayun he captured delhi and agra delhi and agra and he took a title called sher shah sher shah and his family controlled approximate controlled delhi and agra for 15 years from 1540 to 1555 this period was controlled by sher shah and his family members his successors three rulers ruled delhi and agra from 1540 to 1555 this period humayun was in uh, rajasthan in 1542 akbar was born in amarkot palace akbar was born in amarkot palace then this information was came to know to sher shah sher shah gave warning to rajputs if any locals if any rajputs gave support to humayun he is going to invade then humayun ran away to persia he took the shelter in persia he humayun ran away to persia persia means present iran persia means present iran and uh, humayun took shelter in uh, safavid dynasty safavid dynasty okay family name of the family was safavid dynasty name of the king is shatamasp 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 was the king okay he was the king of safavid dynasty who controlled the persia persia is nothing but modern iran modern iran whom you took the shelter under some conditions he he accepted the conditions okay we need to remember the conditions first thing is he need to convert into shia tradition from sunni and uh, after that humayun uh, humayun surrender kandahar after capturing india to persians after capturing india humayun should it surrender kandahar region to persians this is the another conditions okay humayun had no alternative that's why he support he accepted the conditions okay he accepted the conditions and uh, he accepted to transfer is kandahar and uh, remember 
Humayun's biography written by his own sister, his cousin sister, Gulbadan Begum. Gulbadan Begum. Gulbadan Begum was the sister of uh, Humayun. Sister of Humayun. Gulbadan Begum written Humayun Nama. Humayun Nama. Humayun Nama. This book was the most authentic information to study about uh, Humayun. Right in 1555, Humayun came back from Persia and he captured India from Sikandar Sur, great uh, Sikandar Sur, grandson of uh, Sher Shah. Sikandar Sur. Humayun defeated Sikandar Sur and captured Delhi, captured Agra. From Sikandar Sur, uh, Humayun captured Delhi and Agra. And uh, he did not change his attitude. He did not change his uh, work, right? Uh, he always consume uh, opium. Okay. Vakaroju Ratri library ki veli vipritha ka taigu naadu written osu osu met library metla mich jari padadu padadu padate marane chalan jari gidi. After that, uh, Homayam Akbar became the king. Akbar. Okay, in 1556, Akbar became the king and ruled up to 1605. Okay, at the, remember, in 1542, Akbar born in Amarkot Palace. Amarkot. Amarkot Hindu Palace. Amarkot Rajput Palace. Rana Prasad Veersala. Rana Prasad Veersala gave shelter to Humayun. Okay, at the same time, Akbar was born in Amarkot Palace. Akbar father name is Humayun. Akbar mother name is Hamida Banu Begum. Hamida Banu Begum. Remember this point. Right, uh, in 1556, Humayun was passed away. At the time of Humayun's death, he was at Kalanauru. Kalanauru. At the time of Humayun's death, he was at Kalanauru, Punjab, Gurdaspur uh, district, Gurdaspur district, Kalanauru. Okay, immediately, protector of Akbar, Bairam Khan, Bairam Khan, protector of Akbar is Bairam Khan. Immediately, Akbar's uh, protector, Bairam Khan, performed the coronation festival of Akbar. Coronation Festival of Akbar at Kalanauru. Okay, Tatkalika Vedic, okay, it Kalato, Kuchina Dias, the Arjay said, okay, Chinna Cheres said, okay, Talabaga Jutesi, he declared Akbar as a Mughal Emperor. Mughal Emperor. Baradesh and Chakravartiga, Mughal Samraj and Chakravartiga, Akbar ni Prakadina Jarigindi. Right, Nikramanam Kambal Jariga, good pet call Samsham in that day. Akbar Yoka Salpero, Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar. Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar. Akbar. Akbar means the great. Right, Akbar became the king, but uh, Hemu, popularly known as Vikramjit, Hemu, popularly known as Vikramjit, Hemu attacked on Delhi. He captured Delhi from Tardi Beg, and he captured Delhi, and controlled hundred days, and controlled hundred days. So, a war was started between Akbar and Hemu, that is the second battle of Panipat. Second battle of Panipat, 1556. Second battle of Panipat, 1556. In second battle of Panipat, Bairam Khan defeated Hemu. Defeated Hemu and killed Hemu. 
ఓకే ఇక్కడ అక్బర్ అంటున్నాం కదా మళ్ళీ బైరం ఖాన్ ఏంటంటే ఈ యుద్ధం సందర్భంలో అక్బర్ వయసు పద్నాలుగు సంవత్సరాలే అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ థర్టీన్ ఆర్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫార్టీ టూలో పుట్టాడు ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫార్టీ టూలో పుట్టడం జరిగింది రైట్ అప్రాక్సిమేట్లీ థర్టీన్ ఆర్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ జస్ట్ మంత్స్ డిఫరెన్స్ అనమాట ఎట్ ద ఏజ్ మనకి స్కూల్ బుక్ ప్రకారం అయితే పదమూడు సంవత్సరాలకే రాజ్ అయ్యాడు థర్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ అని చెప్పాలి ఇంకా స్కూల్ బుక్ ప్రకారము థర్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ ఓకే జస్ట్ మంత్స్ డిఫరెన్స్ అంతే ఓకే థర్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ ఆర్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ జస్ట్ మంత్ వన్ ఆర్ టూ మంత్స్ గ్యాప్ అంతే రైట్ ఎట్ ద ఏజ్ ఆఫ్ థర్టీన్ ఆర్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఈ బికేమ్ ద కింగ్ ఎన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీ సిక్స్ సో పద్నాలుగు సంవత్సరం ఏం చేయలేడు కాబట్టి బైరాన్ ఖాన్ అన్ని కంట్రోల్లో పెట్టుకున్నాడు ఇక్కడ మనకి అబుల్ ఫజల్ రాసిన పుస్తకం అనేది చాలా ఇంపార్టెంట్ అఫీషియల్ హిస్టారియన్ ఆఫ్ అక్బర్ ఈజ్ అబుల్ ఫజల్ అబుల్ ఫజల్ అఫీషియల్ హిస్టారియన్ అఫీషియల్ హిస్టారియన్ ఆఫ్ అక్బర్ అబుల్ ఫజల్ అబుల్ ఫజల్ వాజ్ ద ఆథర్ ఆఫ్ అక్బర్ నామా అక్బర్ నామా అక్బర్ నామా కంటైన్స్ త్రీ డిఫరెంట్ పార్ట్స్ ఫస్ట్ పార్ట్ ఈజ్ రిలేటెడ్ టు తైమూర్ టు హుమయూన్స్ తైమూర్ టు హుమయన్స్ హిస్టరీ సెకండ్ పార్ట్ రిలేటెడ్ టు అక్బర్ హిస్టరీ అండ్ థర్డ్ పార్ట్ ఈజ్ నథింగ్ బట్ ఐన్ ఈ అక్బరి ఐని అక్బరి ఐని అక్బరి రైట్ మొఘల్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ డిస్కస్డ్ ఇన్ ఐని అక్బరి రైట్ అక్బర్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఎక్స్పాండింగ్ ఇస్ కింగ్డమ్ రైట్ ఇన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ బైరామ్ ఖాన్ వాజ్ రివోల్టెడ్ దెన్ హీ సప్రెస్ ద బైరామ్ ఖాన్ అండ్ సెంట్ టు మక్కా బట్ నియర్ పఠాన్ గుజరాత్ నియర్ పఠాన్ గుజరాత్ అన్నోన్ పర్సన్ కిల్డ్ బైరామ్ ఖాన్ అన్నోన్ పర్సన్ కిల్డ్ బైరామ్ ఖాన్ రైట్ అక్బర్ రియల్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేషన్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ వన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ సిక్స్టీ వన్ హీ స్టార్టెడ్ ఇన్వేడింగ్ డిఫరెంట్ కంట్రీస్ హీ వాజ్ ఫస్ట్ హీ ఫస్ట్ టైమ్ హీ అటాక్ డాన్ మాల్వా అండ్ హీ డిఫీటెడ్ మాల్వా లేటర్ హీ అటాక్ డాన్ గుజరాత్ ఓకే హీ క్యాప్చర్ గుజరాత్ కాశ్మీర్ బై ఫిఫ్టీన్ నైంటీ ఫైవ్ is first in is first eri akbar was the first, sorry first area to capture by akbar is malwa we need to remember this point first area to capture by akbar is malwa right that is uh, uh, nothing but madhya pradesh region okay abo narmada river below chambal valley chambal river okay baj bahadur బజ్ బహదూర్ రైట్ అండ్ అక్బర్ డిఫీటెడ్ గుజరాత్ ఫ్రమ్ ముజాఫర్ షా ఈ క్యాప్చర్ గుజరాత్ రాజా తోడర్మల్ రైట్ సారీ గుజరాత్ ఫ్రమ్ గుజరాత్ ఓకే మనకి స్కూల్ బుక్లో జప్తి సిస్టమ్ అనేది గుజరాత్ బెంగాల్లో ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేయలేదు యాక్చువల్గా ఫస్ట్ ఇంప్లిమెంట్ చేసిందే గుజరాత్లో మన స్కూల్ బుక్లో ఏమి ఇచ్చారంటే గుజరాత్ బెంగాల్లో జప్తీ సిస్టమ్ అనేది ప్రవేశపెట్టలేకపోయారని చెప్పేసి చెప్పారు కానీ ఫస్ట్ రాజా తోడర్మల్ ఇక్కడ గుజరాత్లోనే తీసుకురావడం జరిగింది ఇక్కడ సక్సెస్ అయిన తర్వాత మిగతా అన్ని ప్రాంతాలకు ఎక్స్పెండ్ చేశారు సో వీ నీడ్ టు ఫాలో టెక్స్ట్ బుక్ సో గుజరాత్ రీజన్లో జప్తి సిస్టమ్ లేదనేది గుర్తుంచుకోవాలి రైట్ ఫ్రమ్ గుజరా ఫ్రమ్ ముజాఫర్ షా అక్బర్ క్యాప్చర్డ్ గుజరాత్ ఫ్రమ్ ముజాఫర్ షా అక్బర్ క్యాప్చర్డ్ గుజరాత్ In the memory of Gujarat victory, he constructed Fatehpur Sikri city. Fatehpur Sikri city. Fatehpur Sikri city. Akbar constructed Fatehpur Sikri, Sikri city near Agra. In the memory of victory over Gujarat. Within the city, Akbar constructed Sultana Palace. Jodhbhai Palace. and uh, pancha mahal birbal palace jama mosque ibadat khana and uh, buland darwaza sheik salim chisti tomb and etc akbar 
gave importance to Sheikh Salim Chisti. Okay, after death of Sheikh Salim Chisti, he constructed a Darga within the Fatehpur Sikri city. Within the Fatehpur Sikri city, and uh, Akbar gave importance to tolerance towards his subjects. Akbar sent his ambassadors to different uh, countries like uh, Ambar, Marwar, Mewar, etc., etc., etc. Akbar clearly observed Rajputs and their behavior. Okay, Akbar don't want to and don't want to enter into wars with the Rajputs because Rajputs treat war as a sport. Okay, they never bend the head in front of anyone. So Akbar wants to maintain good relations with the Rajputs. So he sent his ambassador to different country. If any Rajputs accepted his sovereignty, they will get their own territory as a mansab. They will get their own territory as a mansab. Okay, Mo Akbar did not involve in the Rajput local matters. <laughs> this is nothing but semi-independence. Semi-independence. In the name of Akbar, rule was done. In the name of Akbar, coins will be released. Coins will be released. In internal matters, Akbar will not involve. Akbar will not involve, did not involve. So many Rajputs maintained good relations with the Akbar and they gave their daughters to Akbar. So uh, Akbar married so many women, queens of Rajputs, okay, so many princes of Rajputs. So many Akbar married so many princes of Rajputs, especially Ambar. Ambar Rajput princess was married by Akbar. Okay, Akbar's Jahangir's mother is Jahangir's mother is Ambar's princess. Okay, Rajaputula to Vaivaika Sammandal Betkunadu. Varto Manchi relation bet Kunadu. A policy and the Agbanja start in the Amber Lant and Eka Rajaputta Rakumartal Pelias Kunadu. Jehangir mother Amber Yaka Rakumarte. Right, uh, Mariam E. Germani and Japes and Ru. Jehangir Yaka mother Mariam E. Germani. Right, Amber Yaka Rakumarta me. And uh, only one kingdom fought against uh, one Rajput kingdom fought against Akbar that is uh, Mewad. Mewad Sisodias. Mewad Sisodias. Maharaja Uday Singh. Maharaja Uday Singh. 1567. Okay. Maharaja Uday Singh failed to protect the Mewad. He gave uh, Mewad to Patta and Jaimal, these two military commanders, and uh, Uday Singh ran away to the Aravali mountains. After death of Uday Singh, Maharana Pratap became the king. Maharana Pratap became the king. Maharana Pratap uh, continued war with the uh, Mughals up to death of. Uh, Akbar up to death of Maharana Pratap. Right, Raja Man Singh defeated Maharana Pratap in Battle of Haldi Ghat. Battle of Haldi Ghat. In Battle of Haldi Ghat 1576, Maharana Pratap was defeated by Man Singh. Man Singh was the brother of brother of Jodhbhai, brother of Jodhbhai, chief queen of Akbar. Akbar yaka chief queen of Chesi Raja, sorry, Akbar yaka chief queen of Chesi Jodhbhai. A Jodhbhai yaka brother is Man Singh. A Man Singh itanini Maharana Pratap ni battle of Haldi Ghat lo Odin Chanjar gindi. Maharana Pratap horse name is Chatak. Horse name is Chatak. But uh, up to his death, up to Maharana Pratap's death, he continued the battle with Mughals. He did not accept sovereignty of Mughals 
and Kannurda wars. Up to 1595, almost North India controlled by the Akbar. After 1595, he captured Kandahar, Kabul and etc. And Akbar gave importance to religious tolerance. He abolished Jizya tax. He abolished Jizya tax. Jizya means a tax collected from non-Muslims who is living in Muslim area. Jizya means a tax collected from non-Muslims who is living in Muslim kingdom, Islamic kingdom. But this tax no people accepted. Mata Madaranga Panulu Vosul Jedan Vetrekin Jargindi. So Akbar abolished it. Akbar abolished cow killing. Go Vada Nishedamu Vidin Chan Jargindi. Okay, Avu Hindu like a Pavitra Jantu Gavati. Avuni Kapa Dali and Jepisaka Parmana Jari Jesaru. And uh, he imposed ban on forcible religious conversions. Forcible religious conversions. Akbar imposed ban on pilgrimage tax. Abolished pilgrimage tax. Tirda Yatalapanoni Raddu Chedan Jargindi. Tirda Yatalapanoni Raddu Chedan Jargindi. Tirda Yatalavana Chesnet Lete Valu tax Katali. Okay, at twenty day. Vivani would have Raddu Chesa do, and he gave uh, religious freedom to his Hindu wives. Ra Akbar gave religious freedom to his Hindu wives. So, Rani Jodabai placed Lord Krishna idol in her palace. So, Ulema asked, local priest questioned about Akbar's religious policy, and uh, they say that Akbar completely became a atheist and uh, he did not believe in the uh, akbar became infidel infidel and uh, akbar encouraged idol oratory vigraha than support jesu ani cheppesi matadrohi ga ante atanu matam ante endu telusukovali anukunnadu he started ibadat khana he started ibadat khana and ibadat khana in fatehpur sikri he invited muslim sunni priest Siya Ulemas and scholars, Hindu scholars, Parishan scholars, Parsi scholars, Zoroastrian scholars, and uh, Christian scholars. Okay, I'll give some example from uh, Purush uh, from Hinduism. Purushottam and Devi attended. Sorry, Purushottam Dev, Purushottam Dev, Purushottam Dev was participated. Purushottam Dev was participated and. Uh, and uh, from uh, Jorastrian Dastur uh, Maharaji Rana and uh, from uh, Jainism Hira Vijay Suri and uh, from Christianity okay, Jesuit mission members Rudolf Akwaiva Rudolf Akwaiva Antonio Mansuret these people participated in the religious discussion of Akbar right Akbar Akbar uh, promoted a policy called Sul e Kul, a Sufi concept. Sul e Kul, Sufi concept. Peace to everyone, peace to the world. Prapanchani ki shanti. Sul e Kul, Prapanchani ki shanti. World peace. Peace to the world concept was promoted by the Akbar. And uh, after completion of the discussions and uh, Ibadat Khana, Akbar started a religion called Din e Lahi. Din e Lahi. Akbar started a religion called Din e Lahi. Right? Din e Lahi was a mixture of all religions. Prati Matanunch koni points this koni Din e Lahi in Tayar Jaran Jarigindi. Right? Uh, sun and fire should be worshipped. Sunday declared as a holiday and animal sacrifice was stopped. Everyone should uh, eat vegetarian food only. Vegetarian food only. And Akbar introduced a greeting method was Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar means God is great. Allah Akbar means God is great. Okay, and birthday, death day should be celebrated. Birthday and death day should be celebrated. This concept is related to Sufis. Sufis, right? Uh, death, 
మనకి సూఫీ సన్యాసుల డెత్ యానివర్సరీస్నే మనం ఉర్స్ అంటాం ముఖ్యంగా మన తెలంగాణ ప్రాంతంలో అనేక జిల్లాల్లో ఓకే ఉర్స్ ఉత్సవాలు జరుగుతాయి అవి ఏంటి ఉర్స్ ఉత్సవాలు అంటే యాని డెత్ యానివర్సరీస్ సెలబ్రేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ డెత్ యానివర్సరీస్ ఓకే అక్బర్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ దట్ ఈ దట్ పాలసీ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ దినీ లాహీ దినీ లాహీ అండ్ అక్బర్ అక్బర్ గేవ్ మజహర్ నామా మజహర్ నామా యాజ్ పర్ దిస్ మజహర్ నామా హీ కంప్లీట్లీ రిమూవ్డ్ పవర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఉలే మాస్ హిర్ ఈ కంప్లీట్లీ రిమూవ్డ్ పవర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఉలే మాస్ అండ్ హీ స్టార్టెడ్ రీడింగ్ ఖుద్బా ఇన్ ఫ్రైడే హీ స్టార్టెడ్ రీడింగ్ ఖుద్బా సో ఉలే మాస్ సేజ్ దాట్ అక్బర్ రిమూవ్డ్ అక్బర్ హీ వెంట్ అవుట్ ఫ్రమ్ ద ఇస్లాం దట్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఉలే మా పవర్స్ సప్రెస్డ్ this was called as infallibility decree infallibility decree telulo amogatva prakatana ani cheppes antamu dane parishan lo majahar nama antunamu parishan lo majahar nama telugu lo amogatva prakatana english lo infallibility decree okay as per this uh, infallibility decree akbar became the head of the religion akbar became the head of the religion Akbar became the head of the religion. Okay, and uh, forcible religious conversions was abolished by the Akbar. Forcible religious conversions abolished by the Akbar. Right, uh, Jahangir, the son of Akbar, owned, and he revolted against uh, Akbar. Right, uh, Abul Fazal was killed by Jahangir. Abul Fazal Abul Fazal was killed by Jahangir So Akbar got angry on Jahangir he declared Kusru he declared Kusru as the next king of Mughal India right uh, Jahangir had no opportunity no no alternative than Jahangir surrender to the Akbar so finally jahangir once again declared as a crown prince future king in 1605 akbar was passed away so akbar's son jahangir became the emperor of mogal india 